Lake good evening everybody Sabbath Shalom Sabbath Shalom y'all come on in for a brief moment got a very disturbing case I would like to share with you all tonight out of New York you all where a young doctor had allegedly uh raped some victims you all raped some patients might I say and also while he was raping these patients he was also filming these altercations you all so uh, this is a very crazy disturbing case how a young man from china actually throws his life away with uh these accusations you all again this is very disturbing and one of the main reasons i wanted to come on tonight was to talk about uh, supporting our loved ones you all when they are actually going to these hospitals and different uh, locations of this magnitude uh, again because this lady went in um, only sick for some kind of stomach pain and turned around having the nightmare of her life you all again this is very disturbing so I want to come on and kind of encourage um, people to uh, go to the hospitals with their loved ones ask questions and things of this nature you all because so much is going on nowadays and we don't actually know what these doctors are doing to our family members out there you all so again this is very disturbing and one of the reasons why i always want to go uh to some of these particular places with uh my spouse you all again this is some very sick and disgusting things man because uh, people actually trust these doctors. People actually uh, put a lot of trust into these different people to uh, kind of take care of them, you all. And this is one thing that I find uh, very sad and disturbing. Because when you put your trust into a certain medical doctor, uh, you expect to be treated with the utmost respect and also uh, that this doctor may heal you, you know, that he had the potential to heal you. So, you know, again, man, this is very sad and disturbing, you know, especially if you are men out there, man, go with y'all or uh, wives, girlfriends or baby moms or whatever uh, it may be. Even husbands, even wives go with your husbands to places they may need to go. You know, I'm encouraging everybody to do things like this because, again, we never know what these doctors are actually doing to our family members. But then again, in this case, this young lady uh, happens to be in a situation where she was having some kind of stomach pains and went to the doctor uh, to see what may have been the problem. And this doctor, uh, not only did he betray her trust, but he also violated her body, you all. Again, this is very sick and disgusting. Uh, the same doctor allegedly had a girlfriend that he uh, drugged and did the same similar situ situations to uh, this young lady, you all. So this is how uh, this doctor was actually discovered uh, because he had videos, you know. It's like one sick thing to actually um, perform such an act like this to actually violate uh, people who trust in you, but to also film this while this is going on, you all. Again, very sad and disgusting. So I would like to share this tonight with you all. And if you are joining me for the first time, usually here uh, we read the news article before, and I also uh, tap in to share with you all um, a news clip uh, so that you may get a better perspective or something you, you did not understand. So before I get off into that, copyright disclaimer under Title 17, USC, Sections 107. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarships, and research. Fair use is permitted by the copyright statute and might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, education, and personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. Tips to balance in favor of fair use, you all. So here we go again. We have an a newly um, to the medical field doctor. He, this doctor, young doctor, had just gotten his degree and was on the rise really fast, you all. Uh, I'm not sure um, what exactly type of doctor he is, but it has to do with uh, the gastric uh, functions, you all. Something that has to do with your colon, your colon, so forth and so on, you all. Now, mind you, when you are dealing with uh, things such as colon cancer and whatever other 
situations that may involve your gascular uh, tracts, you all, your intestines. Now, mind you that these doctors have to go in through the back, you all. I said that these that doctors have to go in through the back, which is actually your anal area. You know, most of the time these doctors uh, perform uh, different different, um, might I say, medical uh, procedures to actually see what's wrong with you. So sometimes they have to uh, go in your rectum and your backside and kind of uh, run a camera through there and see what they can see you all. So I don't know why anyone would actually want to go into this particular part of the medical field, but this doctor had his own strange reasons. I said the man had his own strange reasons that turned out to be some kind of sick fetish, you all. But before I get off into that, I did read the copyright disclaimer, so I'm going to go straight into the news article. And you all can catch the news clip. I will uh, be adding the news article and clip at the bottom of each segment, you all. So I encourage you also that if you are joining me to kind of look into uh, my descriptions at the bottom of these videos and I kind of uh, give you a brief breakdown on actually what this video is pertaining to you all. So I'm going to get straight off into this. It says New York Dr. Z. Allen Chin, you all. Z. Allen Chin is facing 20 sex crime charges during a drugging and raping of at least six women filming these assaults, you all. So again, this was very uh, sick and disgusting because not only did you uh, violate these people's trust, their bodies, um, and so forth and so on, but he also filmed uh, this sick, disgusting act, you all. So I didn't want to let this man slide at all, again, because uh, we trust people to take care of us. We trust these different uh, foreigners, so forth and so on, that actually come down here to this country uh, to perform uh, medical duties, you all. These uh, people uh, are under an oath to perform uh, to the highest standards that they can possibly do, you all. Now, some of these uh, doctors will absolutely neglect you. They will absolutely uh, mess over you. They will give you the wrong medication, you all. So, again, it's very important to support your family members when they are in medical situations, you all. So I'm gonna continue reading on. It say the rising New York City doctor was charged with drugging and sexually assaulting numerous of women, including a patient, then filming their their unconscious bodies as he violated them, you all. So again, uh, this man would give uh, these women medicine you all medicine that would actually knock them out and uh you know kind of take over their body so they would not actually feel anything that's going on until the time they wake up you all so again this is sick and the doctor was caught uh, with these uh same particular drugs at his home location you all now these drugs are actually for the hospital they are to um give to patients before um, surgery, might I say, you all. Again, this is very sick and disgusting uh, for this man to actually do. It says, Zai Allen Chin, 33, a gastrotelologist, you all. So a gastrotelologist uh, is something that actually, um, you know, again, deals with your uh, stomach tract infection, you know, your stomach uh what I'm trying to say, you all, your, your intestines, so forth and so on, you all, this is the kind of doctor that he actually was. It said a Presbyterian Queens was initially arrested in December after his girlfriend claimed that the doctor uh, knocked her unconscious at his Astro Royal apartment using a surgical mask stuffed with cotton balls soaked in an unknown liquid, you all. So again, uh, this man had done the same thing to his girlfriend. It became uh, something that he may have been doing a long time, you all, and had his girlfriend not found these particular uh, videos, I'm pretty sure that he would have gotten, uh, gotten a 
far along. You know, he would have not uh, possibly been caught for a long time. And again, he is a new to the medical field. So we don't know how many women he actually allegedly violated, but uh, this is, again is very uh, sickening and disgusting, you all, because again, um, you know, for these ladies to actually trust this doctor and this man to perform these uh, medical procedures and medical um, analysis, might I say, and for them to be violating such a manner is far gone. It's absolutely horrendous, you all. It's something that no one should ever uh, go through. Again, you all, so I'm back. Um, continue to read this and say she said she didn't remember anything when she woke up but found a video of Chain sexually assaulting her along with footage of him attacking other women you all so uh, imagine being uh, the girlfriend of a doctor who you think is you admire a lot you admire so much come to find out that he been out here uh, raping women you know uh, again, this is something terrifying to actually experience, especially um, for the young lady that was his girlfriend, you all. It said, in addition to discovering assault videos, prosecutors said a number of numerous drugs, including fentanyl, ketamine, LSD, and surgical anesthesia was found at Ching's home, you all. It said Ching was arraigned and included on three counts of rape, 10 counts of predatory or sexual assault, seven for sexual abuse, and four counts of assault, prosecutors announced Monday, you all. So I'm pretty sure that this man gonna get done uh, the way Larry Nash did, you all. And another thing that was crazy about this situation, for anybody that may not know, that when you get to prison, um, in any form of rape, I mean, it go down in your life. You know, these people are going to have it very hard. So he went from uh, pretty much uh, living in wealth to he would be um, possibly locked up for the rest of his life for these type of charges, you all. And said, in addition, uh, Ching was assigned and indicated on three counts of rape. I, I read that part, excuse me. His allegation victims included both parents and women he was dating, you all. It said at least one of the women allegedly said she was assaulted, sexually assaulted by Chen at a hospital in Queens as a patient when she was 19. So again, you all, um, man, I'm pretty sure it's countless of women, women out there that may not have realized that they were drugged, that when they woke up and they felt uh, body pain, uh, did not quite understand what may or may not have happened, you all. So again, if you are a lady that uh, may have had this man as a doctor, I suggest that you um, file a complaint, uh, go talk to the, to the local authorities, uh, go to the hospital and kind of ask different things and Try to find out who the prosecutor is so you can actually um, be involved in getting justice, you all. Again, this is a very sad thing, man. I, I hate to see uh, people getting taken advantage of in such a manner as this. It said, prosecutor said he gave her a rectal exam that was not necessary for her gall bladder treatment you all so this was another crazy thing anything had to do with the stomach doctors putting you on that table you all so again this is very sick and disgusting uh, for people to actually come in with a maybe a light stomach virus to actually get violated like this you all you say stomach pain to this doctor and he thinking about um uh, anal things you all so again this is very disgusting uh for him to actually um, be behaving in such a manner as this, you all. It says the changes, uh, the charges are focused on Ching's assaulting of six women, but prosecutors said there are likely more victims, you all. So this is something that I do believe that they are of the victims out there, you all. So again, uh, we are trying to get this story out, at least I am, you all, because again, 
Uh, no one should be violated uh, when they is giving you that kind of trust. You know, again, um, you can't go to the doctor to be healed, not to be assaulted in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It said known victims range from the ages of 19 to 47 years old. The, the videos found in Ching's possession suggest he assaulted at least five other women in recent years across New York. Las Vegas, San Francisco, and even Thailand, you all. So, again, this was another crazy thing that uh, this man was flying back and forth, uh, going to different locations, different states. Um, when he should have been performing his medical duties, he was performing sexual healing, you all. I don't know if you all ever heard that before, but you need to go look it up. It's from the late, great uh, Marvin Gaye, Sexual Healing, you all. So again, man, this man uh, did, I don't know how he wind up mixing um, his business, his livelihood, his medical uh, professionalism uh, behind some sex, you all. Uh, again, this is something that uh, he will have to face the consequences again for the rest of his life. It said for someone to rise to the level where you are drugging and raping a person, that doesn't happen overnight. Uh, Nicole Attorney, uh, Nicholas Attorney for the 19-year-old victim told the NBA, NBC, you have essentially a predatory in a white coat. A predator in a white coat, you all. So again, that's again very disgusting because um, like I said, man, for you to just be uh, so comfortable uh, with doing these type of things, with uh, behaving in such a manner, man, it's very sickening. I'm pretty sure that he would never uh, go to China with this type of behavior, you all. And again, uh, this man did visit Thailand, so it's no telling uh, what he may have done to uh, different people, uh, not only uh, in his own uh, ethnic group, but in other ethnic groups, you all, because again, uh, one of these ladies was a, a Hispanic lady, you all, but it don't matter the race, white, green, black, brown, or purple, this should never happen to anyone, you all, so again, this is very disgusting thing. They said that woman said she was assaulted by Chin in June 2021, more than a year before his arrest. And that the hospital investigated her complaint, but they went nowhere, you all. So again, uh, one lady had made a complaint to him a whole about this man a whole uh, year prior. So had they uh, took the time as a hospital, as a medical staff, to actually in investigate this doctor, I'm pretty sure that they would have stopped a lot of other women from being raped, you all. It said the caregivers were are reasonable or responsible for the safety and well-being of our patient. It is a, a sacred trust, you all. A spokesperson for the hospital told the Post in a statement, the crimes committed by the individual are horrendous, despicable, and fun, uh, fundamentally betrayal, you all, of our mission as a patient's trust. We are appalled and deeply saddened by what these victims and their families have endured. So it said a representative said that the hospital has uh, stringent patient safety policies and procedures in place that is was working to identify any weaknesses. It said the hospital did not commit on the allegations that the complaint about Chen were not properly addressed when they were first arose. Chen, Chen pleaded not guilty to the charges against him and is being held without bond on Rikers Island, you all. So again, uh, this judge was highly upset. He did not get his man a bond, and I'm so thankful that he didn't, you all, because uh, this doctor got a little piece of finance, you all. He could have absolutely disappeared. I'm pretty more uh, to ensure he has a passport, so forth and so on, you all. It said he earned his medical license in June of 2020 after completing his residency at the San Francisco, California Pacific Medical Center 
earning his first degree at Albany Medical College. So again, man, this is a very uh, disgusting thing, man. So uh, again, the main objective tonight was to kind of talk about uh, supporting your family members, you know, uh, when they are actually going to some of these places, uh, find out uh, who is actually their doctor, who is their uh, active nurse, so forth and so on, because uh, this may save the life of someone that you love and care about, you know, and you don't want your, nobody in your family uh, to be violated. I'm pretty sure that some people uh, kind of hope to be uh, violated, but in this situation, man, this is not even called for or nothing that any doctor should ever do, you all. So, again, I do have a brief news clip that I can share with everybody uh, to get a, a brief understanding of what had actually happened. So again, you know, when they uh, are seeing your people, man, ask about these certain medications, you know. If they don't tell you, look on these medical bottles yourself and kind of um, at least see what the side effects of the medicine is that is administered uh, to your family member or your loved one you are. Again, this was uh, very sad and disgusting, man. I hate that this happened. Uh, to so many people or to anyone you all. So again, man, pay attention. Um, and, and men, I know y'all uh, for a fact do, do not uh, like to go to these hospitals and some of these places because I don't neither. Um, but your biggest concern should be uh, your family member you all. I hated uh, just sitting in the hospital long periods of time, but I mean, uh, somebody got to do it, man. Somebody got to be there to see what these doctors are actually doing to your family members, man. Because if something happens, you want to know. You know, you want to uh, make sure that your loved one is getting just treatment, you know, uh, and that they absolutely get justice for anything that may be a medical issue or medical malpractice, you all. So, again, I'd like to share um, this brief news clip with you all before we move forward. I am scared. I no longer want to go to hospitals. In this exclusive interview, a former patient of Dr. Xi Alan Chang tells the I-Team and Telemundo 47 Investiga her horrifying story. She went to New York Presbyterian Hospital, Queens, for abdominal discomfort, but hospital records show she reported being inexplicably drugged and later learned investigators found a video of Dr. Chang sexually abusing her while unconscious. I wouldn't want anyone else to go through this. Now, Queens DA Melinda Katz is alleging the scope of Dr. Chang's sex crimes is much wider. In a superseding indictment, Chang is now charged with video recording the rapes or sexual abuse of six other women, three of them inside the hospital and four others inside his apartment. On top of that, prosecutors believe there are at least six other women so far unidentified who may have been raped or abused on video as well. At the most vulnerable time in a person's life, when they're in the hospital, it's... Again, man, this was very uh, disgusting thing, man. You know, it's some sick people out there. And, uh, you know, the more money some of these worth the people accumulate, the sicker they actually become, you all. So, uh, again, pay attention to your family members. Uh, support them in times of need, especially if they is on, on their way uh, to some kind of emergency room uh, and things of this nature, you all. Because, again, man, we never know uh, what these people are actually doing to our loved ones. If they are uh, practicing, you know, if they are doing things that they uh, should not be doing. Uh, some of these uh, doctors, I'm pretty sure they uh, um, passed so many uh, doctor uh, bar, state bar uh, medical exams each year. But you all, uh, some of these um, doctors do not have a lot of experience, you know, and they actually uh, are letting these people uh, perform medical uh, procedures on different people, you all. So, again, pay attention and 
kind of do. Um, I wish that I had gotten something, uh, some kind of way uh, besides like Google, you know, when you uh, see uh, these docs with five stars, four stars, so forth and so on, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of um, hard to look in there. That they, they should be something uh, more done uh, to kind of uh, get to know some of these doctors on different, uh, in different ways and manners, you know, just as they do uh, the same kind of background checks for police officers, uh, might I say, you know, for some of these police officers, you know, uh, it, it's hard for them to get in now that they have uh, so much, what do I want to say, so, so much technology, so much uh you know, this social media type of thing, man, where uh, they actually investigate uh, people so far back, especially if you take on uh, some of these law enforcement jobs like the FBI, so forth and so on. These people can go all the way back to your childhood to find certain information. So I think that these doctors uh, should actually uh, be investigated in the same manner, you all, because again, uh, People uh, put their trust in them. They put lay their whole life on the line uh, for some of these doctors that do not absolutely uh, care about uh, the person's well-being, you all. Uh, some of these doctors are in and out so fast, they'll tell you to stretch your leg, I put it down, and then, you know, they on to the next patient. You can be telling them one thing, they go in and not the other, you know. Uh, they're going to figure out a way to give you something that you do not need, like an X-ray or MRI, you know, as though um, something has changed, you know, like they really in there doing something, but they are not doing their job. So this is very important to always uh, support your, your loved ones and your family, you all. I didn't want to keep everybody too long. I did have another clip that I also done today, but I had done it on a, like a screen recording type of thing, and um, I was unsuccessful in downloading you all. So I may have a, a chance again to come on here uh, shortly uh, by way of chance. So if I do not, I will see you all tomorrow prayerfully and definitely see you Monday. God for Christ gang. Peace. We got Love y'all. Peace. Thank you.